Alright, let's see what's on YouTube today. Hopefully there is something good going on. Yeah, I haven't really checked all of Preston's videos. I mean, I have seen some before, but not all of them. But only in Vian Low. Well, I might as well watch each and every one of them, and see what they're like. That's nice. Preston has made his very first Vian video ever uploaded on YouTube. This was way back in February, ninth and a half months ago. I started doing my own before he did. I can't wait to see more. Ah yes. It's the adults next door, another new heroic group who has joined the land of Viand. They're gonna keep the land of Viand safe as possible. It's a pleasure to meet them. Uh, not the teenagers next door, the new violent dangerous villainous group to join the land of Viand also. They're gonna try and cause numerous chaos, kidnapping, torture, serious crimes, and even teaming up with other dangerous villains in their gang. I am definitely aware of them. It's always great to have a new heroic gang to join the land of Viand, and moving to their new home. This couldn't get any better. Oh you have got to be kidding me. Not the teenagers next door moving to Viand City. They're gonna cause a bunch of mischief. But their parents didn't have a choice. They had to move for the better, which is what we're gonna have to accept. Wow, Preston has made a whole lot of characters. He has made all of the adults and teenagers next door's new parents and siblings. There are like 5 members in each family group. There are like 10 families, which makes a total of 50. That's also really nice. Oh my goodness. That was crazy how the teenagers next door tried to rob and terrorize everyone in the bank. Thank god the adults next door were managed to stop them on time before they caused major damage. And I feel bad for the people. That was for sure an epic battle all right. I knew that he could introduce the opposite counterparts in one of his videos. I have made the defense of noble teenagers and the destructively nefarious adults, and they are the opposite counterparts of his heroic and villainous group, just for him. And I am glad he likes them. Ah, that was so nice of the adults next door giving nice Valentine's Day gift cards, flowers, and candies to their families. How sweet of them. Cool beans. Preston has reached 500 followers on his YouTube channel. He is halfway to YouTube Hall of Fame. Good for him. Oh wow, I can't believe that the adults next door met another heroic group, the Adamantiums. They are my favorite heroic group besides the adults next door. I just love it when two heroic gangs meet each other in person and become great friends. This is so awesome. Oh no. The teenagers next door has met another villainous group. The Alanastiums. They are just as bad as each other. And they have become allies with each other, and they are going to cause major destruction. This is absolutely the worst news to be seen. Holy cow. I can't believe that the teenagers next door and the Alanastiums were all demonetized. Their eyes were red, and they had sharp teeth. That is some crazy shit. And I also can't believe that the adults next door and the Adamantiums had angel powers. Thank goodness they were willing to stop the villains on time before it was too late. This has got to be one of the most insane episodes that Preston has ever uploaded. I am looking forward to seeing those types of videos that Preston will soon be making. This should be rather quite interesting. Wow, I can't believe that no good Philip Chandler Town, who happens to be Preston's evil clone, would give away poison lemonade to people, just to get them sick. Thank god he got grounded at the end. I am very proud of Andy for doing the right thing by making a rant video out of Alan Huntington. That's what he deserves. What a selfish thing for Andrew to do to an innocent autistic user. Adam didn't deserve to get ranted on. He is one of my favorite Vianders. At least Andrew got a bonus punishment at the end, because that's what he truly deserves. What a smart thing for Eric to do. Giving away COVID-19 vaccines to people for free. This will help them stay safe from any illness that is part of the pandemic. And even I am in it, along with Preston and Holden. Uh, I can't believe Ethan had the nerve to throw a tantrum at a fast food restaurant, just because he didn't get the order he wanted. Me, Preston, Holden, Andy, and Adam were just trying to eat our food and mind our own business. How embarrassing was that? Uh, that was so sweet of Izzy to comfort someone such as Michael Dagger. He has autism. 
This felt heartwarming and heartbreaking at the same time. Ugh, I can't believe that Isabel would do such a thing to Michael Dagger. She had the guts to throw a picnic basket at him and call him rude and offensive names. At least his girlfriend Cecilia Yang was there to take care of that vile troublemaker. Ha 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 Take that mask. You deserve it for not only causing trouble, but also scaring Adam. Owen did the right thing by grounding him, because he deserved it for his actions. How dare Orion by stealing someone's car and crashing it right into a building. He has probably killed tons in there. He should realize that stealing a car without a driver's license, and hijacking it is very illegal. Good thing he got arrested for his horrific actions. Oh I feel bad for that homeless man. He didn't deserve to go through tough moments of his life. It was very nice of Uma to give food to him. He needed it to survive. Oh for goodness sake. Why does Early think it would be a good idea by prank calling 911 when there was no actual fire? Prank calling 911 when there is no actual emergency is very illegal, and she should know that. Glad that she got arrested. What a good time to be hanging out with each other on a St. Patrick's Day, especially when we wear green. We have enjoyed drinking the shamrock shakes at McDonald's. Huh? What's this? I have never seen the adults next door's past selves. It's their casual attire looks. And as for the teenagers next door, they have similar clothes to the kids next door, a show from Cartoon Network. This rather seems quite interesting. I have no idea that this was part of their story. Ha 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 Oh my god. That was hilarious how all of Preston's OC characters were dancing and saying oh 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 multiple times while angry at the same time. This really cracks me up. Oh god no. Not the poor dish girls. They got kidnapped by the teenagers next door. And they took them to an abandoned house where it isn't known for, and they gave them a punishment day. This reminds me of when the Alanastiums gave Viley a punishment day on her 16th birthday on one of Adam's videos three and a half years back. And it happened at the exact same place, but in a different room. Thank God that the adults next door has stopped them on time, or else the dish girls would have been creamed. Oh, my God. I can't believe I fell for that. I thought the adults next door were gonna get grounded by Andrew Error Ackerman, the leader of the teenagers next door. But this was just an April Fool's prank. And the song was played by Rick Astley, Never Gonna Give You Up. That got me right there. Ah yes, a very well congratulations to the one and only Brainiac Adam for reaching 5k followers. Those Alanastiums and teenagers next door all need to suck it up. Oh boy. It looks like me, Preston. Holden, and the adults next door had a great Easter Sunday, until the teenagers next door decided to come and ruin it. They stole the giant egg. But at least the adults next door caught up to them and stopped them before they got away. How rude of those five teenage brats to do to my friend Holden. They all had the nerve to misjudge his eyes. And it was priceless that they pissed him off to the point where he pulled out his baton, and beaded them up with it. I will never forget that part of the video. Another milestone that Preston has reached. 600 followers. He is only 400 more away from 1k. How dare Andrew and Alan do such a thing to a ship that sank 111 years ago. They had the guts to sink the Titanic, and kill lots of people on there. They are this sick in the head to cause trouble that has happened in real life. Glad that they faced arresting time, and got locked up in jail for it. Uh, how can Orion do such a thing by ordering a large pile of junk food when he knows it can get him real sick? He even took his dad's credit card and used it to pay for all the food without his permission. How stupid and immature of him to do that. Really Andrew? You know that you can't force someone to stop making grounded videos out of someone, especially out of a vile troublemaker. There is no way Adam is gonna take your word for it. The Alanastiums deserve to get grounded, just like you. Oh great. Now Isabella has also decided to become one of those annoying entitled Karens around here. And they think they owe everything, and they can get what they want, including the world revolving around them, when none of that is true. She has annoyed both me and Holden until we had enough. Troublemakers like her never seem to learn. How dare Orion do that to an innocent autistic boy? 
I just can't believe that he would ever bury someone alive. Michael Dagger didn't deserve to get traumatized, as being buried alive is not only illegal, but also dangerous. I am so glad that no good Orion got arrested at the end. He definitely deserved it. And I hope Michael gets better soon. I feel so bad for him. Ha 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 Take that Quan Chi. This is what you deserve for causing tons of major damage to Vian City. Uma had every right to ground that no good Mortal Kombat character, because he deserves it for his horrific acts. How can Ethan and Deegan shave off Eric and Taven's hair while they were taking a nap? That is just so uncalled for. Eric and Taven's hair were fine the way they were, but Ethan and Deegan both had the nerve to shave all of their hair off. That is just so messed up. Oh come on. Why does Mr. Brandon have to accuse Andy of stealing his voice just because they are both voiced by Eric from Ivona? Just because someone has the same voice as him, doesn't mean they stole his voice. That's just how some people are, and he doesn't seem to understand that. Wow, that was so sweet of the adults next door giving Mother's Day cards to their moms. They were all very nice cards. This is such a perfect moment. Oh for crying out loud. Not the teenagers next door again. They gave their moms mean Mother's Day cards. That was so heartless of them. And I feel bad for their moms. They didn't deserve to have their Mother's Day ruined. And it was nice that their husbands and kids comforted them. Ha 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 Oh my god. All of Preston's OC characters are now crying and dancing at the same time. First they were angry, and now this. This was so hilarious. Wow, I have never seen the teenagers next door that annoyed before. They sure do look grumpy all right. Oh my god. Seriously? I can't believe that Early had the idea by tricking her own mom into drinking toilet water, and getting her very ill from it. That is just so disgusting. Ursula had to go to the hospital because of that no good Early. And this made her skin all green for drinking toilet water. Oh dear god. I can't believe that Ethan would do this to poor Eric. He has put a beehive under his bed while he was sleeping, and the bees came right out and started to attack him. He had a bunch of bee stings all over his face. I hope Eric recovers from the hospital from it. And shame on Ethan for doing this to him. First Kenward did it to Alice, then Deegan did it to Taven, and now this. That's like three times of this happening to someone in just less than five years. Okay, I gotta admit. The fact that Andrew turned his entire family childish was actually pretty hilarious. They were all acting like Dave the childish dad, which was absolutely priceless. Not gonna lie. Ha 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 ha. Congratulations to Preston for 700 subs. He truly deserves it. Just 300 more until YouTube fame. Orion and Early, how dare you swap the adults next door's genders. They were fine just the way they were, and you had the nerves to mess it all up. How dare they? How dare those two evil clones of Preston and his female counterpart Priscilla? Philip and Phoebe had the most retarded idea by throwing eggs at someone's house when it is illegal. That's part of vandalism. And of course, Andy's parents were not too happy about it. Happy birthday to my friend Holden. I hope he has a good one. And happy double birthday to both Retro Miller and his female counterpart Jamie. May their wishes come true. That was so sweet of the adults next door giving nice Father's Day gift cards to their dance. They are so nice to their parents. This is just as good as the last one. Not again with those mean teenagers next door giving bad cards to their dads on Father's Day. They have felt the same way as their wives felt. And neither of them deserved to have their day ruined. It was also nice that they had all their wives and kids comfort them and cheering them up. That was so heartwarming. Happy 20th birthday to my good friend Preston. I really hope he has the best birthday of his life. And what's best is that I am invited in it, along with my female counterpart Sala Sala. Very good. Happy Independence Day 2023, aka 4th of July. Preston and the adults next door had a pretty good time together, and had fireworks later at night. Those five teenage troublemakers just never seem to learn do they? They stole the fireworks and illegally set them off in town. 
they were damn lucky that neither of them got hurt, because fireworks are very dangerous and are not toys to play with. They also set a house on fire. But thank goodness they all got arrested at the end. It's what they deserve. Wow, those two dens look nice and creepy at the same time. Preston has done a good job making them for both the adults and teenagers next door. I wish to see that again at some time. Oh shit. The teenagers next door has teamed up with the Alanastiums again, and they are going to go on a crime spree. Two times in a row they meet up. I knew that they would all get arrested at the end. There was no way they could get away with their actions. Ah, now that's much more like it. The heroes having a nice and calming picnic. This is always so nice. The adults next door meeting the adamantiums again. It's just always so great. Way better than villains meeting other villains and hanging out with each other. Once again, congratulations to Preston for 800 subs. Just 200 more to go. Yeah. Preston has decided to make the teenagers next door's siblings mild troublemakers. That's more news I was not expecting. But oh well, at least he did it for a reason. Just so that Andrew, Ethan, Isabel, Orion, and Early are not the only five troublemakers part of their families, except they are still way worse. Not surprising. I knew that one of them was gonna cause more trouble, like robbing someone's house. Orion didn't even realize that robbing places is against the law. But thanks to Andy, Orion then got caught and arrested. Wow, I just can't believe that Ethan would ever try and frame his own siblings by breaking a window. Even though they're mild troublemakers, even they wouldn't do something as unnecessary as that. They almost got grounded for it. They would have never found out that it was Ethan if they have never installed cameras all around their house. How much more evil can they possibly get? Those five sick evil vile teenagers even knocked all of Preston's ceiling fans down and destroyed them just because he likes them. How sick of them to even do that. Oh wow, a behavior number day. Me and Sala Sala got the number 60 out of 100. That's pretty good. It ain't a bad number to me. What a heartless idiot Andrew really is. He has called Dave the childish dead hurtful names. I mean, I get that his childish tantrums are annoying, but that's still not an excuse to mistreat him like that. Even Dave deserves love and respect. Catherine, Brian, and Emma confronted Andrew, and cared for Dave. That's nice of them. That was very nice of Izzy to sell lemonade to people, especially on a hot sunny day. Sala Sala and I were in it, and we bought the rest of the lemonade glasses. Izzy deserves to have loads of money, because those lemonades that she made were very yummy. Preston is just 100 more followers away from 1k. Very well congratulations to him for 900. Can he make it? Wow, I especially like this one. Preston chasing his evil clone all around Vian City, but with the music played by Michael Jackson, Billy Jean. That is really good music. Holy shit. The teenagers next door have received 45 Warren-style punishments by their families, the adults next door, and their families too. Well good. Those five punks absolutely deserve it for all their heinous acts. Good job Andy. You have stopped a thief from stealing someone's wallet. Very good job. Hot. Nice try Ethan, but there is no way that Preston would ever start making grounded videos out of Eric. He doesn't deserve to be grounded, you do. So suck it up. I am very proud of Preston for making this. He has made the adults next door, into another universe. And that is where they met the defensive noble teenagers, and their evil counterparts the destructively nefarious adults. He has worked real hard on that video I can see. I wanted him to do it instead. Boy was that a success? Shame on Isabel for turning Callum Rockley into a giant. He doesn't deserve to get turned into a giant. And it looks like all of Preston's OC characters, even the four members of the teenagers next door that all have oddcast voices are very unhappy about their voices getting removed. Well I don't blame them. Even my Tom voice is affected. Viant has made its stupid decision ever, and we have to put a stop to it. No flipping way Orion. There is no way in a million years that Hannah Manzano would ever want to date you, especially since what you did to her and the rest of the dish girls. Hannah would never cheat on Gabriel, aka G.A. Bricks. So you can think again. I honestly knew that Early would not behave towards Retro Miller as her babysitter. 
so I am not even gonna explain on that. Oh my goodness. Yes. This is so awesome. I can't believe that Preston has reached the YouTube and Viand Hall of Fame for the first time ever. He now has 1k followers. And what's even better is that the teenagers next door, along with Philip and Phoebe, were forced to dance on a rooftop naked in nappies. And not only that, but they were also forced to do the buttons and buzz treatment. I have been dying for this to happen. That was so hilarious. Ha 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 I can definitely understand why Preston decided to make these channel rules. Requests and Rala plays do get overused and pointless nowadays. And especially rude comments. They are definitely not welcome to lots of users' channels. Ha 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 Oh my freaking god. I can't believe that the evil counterparts of the adults next door has gotten the buttons and buzz treatment. This is absolutely outstanding, and I just can't stop laughing about it. <laughs> How stupid of the teenagers next door to do. They even had the guts to rob the Vian City Bank all just for their sick and fun enjoyment. They should know that robbing banks is very illegal, which can get them arrested. And I am not surprised that they did at the end, because they normally never get away with their actions. Now this is a childish dad video that Preston has made. Dave gets afraid of the thunderstorm at night. And it was very sweet of his family being there for him. They all tried to comfort him. Even though he acts childish, they still love and care for him. That was real heartwarming. Ha 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 was dancing like a ballerina, crying, and ranting on himself all at the same time. Serves him right. <laughs> Congrats to the legendary Brainiac Adam for reaching the big 6k. He really deserves it. How dare Andrew try to force Maya to break up with Holden. They are such a good couple. And not to mention that he even tried to get Maya to be his girlfriend instead of Holden. Well of course, there is no way that Andrew deserves to have any girlfriends, since he is a violent dangerous troublemaker and the leader of a villainous group. It really does suck to hear that the oddcast voices will retire very soon. And my Tom voices included. I wish that it wasn't oddcast, but unfortunately it is. I can't believe this. The oddcast voices, including my Tom voice, have all been removed and replaced by 66 new voices that sound horrible. And that's not even the worst part. What's even worse is that they also want us to pay them extra, like a thousand fucking dollars to use the shit in new voices. Like, are they on high drugs or something? There is absolutely no way we are paying them a single penny to use the new voices, because they suck anyway. The old voices are way better. We will still keep on protesting to get them back, no matter what. Oh, my, fucking, god. <laughs> oh wow, first Axel Asa Arnold, and now the teenagers next door. This is even funnier. I absolutely love it. Oh I don't blame any of Preston's OC characters, including the teenagers next door. Even I'm not very happy about the oddcast voices getting removed from Viand Studio. Viand has just made the biggest mistake of its life. But at least we can download them from another website, which is why my voice is still Tom right now. Ah oh yes, Happy Halloween 2023. And I see me and Sala Sala dressed up in our shadow and Amy Ira Storm outfits, and we gave out candy to the trick or treaters. That looked like a lot of fun. Except the teenagers next door had to come try and ruin it. But they got stopped at the end, so that's good. How dare the teenagers next door tries to force me to delete the punishment day video I made out of them. That's what they truly deserve. This is only to get them to understand how others felt when they attacked them. There is no way I would ever delete it. Me, Preston, and the adults next door gave them what they rightfully deserve. Uck. I can't believe that no good early would get a job at Burger King and have the guts to mistreat customers for dumb and invalid reasons whatsoever. She even gave food to Orion for free. Like come on, customers are supposed to pay for their food, not just get it for free. And she almost got into a fight with Sean at the end. 
That was some fucked up shit. I am actually surprised that one of the members got a job at some fast food restaurant, especially when they cannot be trusted for their horrific acts. Wow, those were all awesome videos that Preston has made so far. I can tell that he has worked really hard on all of these videos. They bring my interest. They are also pretty funny to me. I hope he keeps this up. He'll gain more followers in the good future. I wish him the best of luck. Hey Solo Solo, what have you been doing for the past several hours? Oh, hey Sala Sala. I was just reacting to all of Preston's videos. They were all funny and interesting at the same time. You should watch it someday. Oh, that's nice. They rather seem quite interesting to check out. Don't you agree? Yep, I most certainly agree with you on that.